Hello, little friends. Today, we are going to learn about different types of flowers. In this video, we will know various flowers' name with images and spelling as well. Let's begin. Our first flower name is buttercup. Buttercups have shiny yellow flowers that look like cups. Did you know some people hold buttercups under their chins to see if they like butter? Let's spell buttercup. B-U-T-T-E-R-C-U-P. Buttercup. The next flower is camellia. Camellias have beautiful waxy flowers in shades of pink and white. Camellias are often used in traditional tea ceremonies. Let's spell camellia. C-A-M-E-L-L-I-A. -L -L -I camellia. This is carnation. Carnations come in many colors and have frilly petals. Some carnations have a gentle, sweet scent. Let's spell carnation. C-A-R-N-A-T-I-O-N. Carnation. Daffodils are cheerful yellow flowers that announce spring. They love to dance in the breeze and are a sign that winter is ending. Let's spell daffodil. D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L. Daffodil. Daisies are little flowers with white petals and a yellow center that looks like a smiley face. Bees love daisies because they provide sweet nectar. Let's spell daisy. D-A-I-S-Y. Daisy. Geraniums have colorful flowers and leaves. Did you know geranium leaves can be used to make essential oils with a nice smell? Let's spell geranium. G-E-R-A-N-I-U-M. Geranium. Hollyhocks have tall spikes with flowers in various colors. Hollyhocks were used in traditional medicine for their soothing properties. Let's spell hollyhock. H-O-L-L-Y-H-O-C-K. Hollyhock. Hyacinths have fragrant flowers that come in different colors. Did you know hyacinths are popular for their strong and sweet perfume? Let's spell hyacinth. H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. Hyacinth. Irises have elegant, sword-shaped leaves and colorful petals. Ancient Greeks believed that irises connected heaven and earth. Let's spell iris, I-R-I-S, iris. Lilies are elegant flowers with petals in white or pink. Some lilies have a lovely fragrance that you can smell in the garden. Let's spell lily, L-I-L-Y, lily. Orchids are exotic flowers with intricate patterns on their petals. Did you know there are thousands of different types of orchids around the world? Let's spell orchid. O-R-C-H-I-D. Orchid. Pansies are friendly flowers with faces on their petals. Pansies come in many colors, and their petals sometimes look like little paintings. Let's spell pansy. P-A-N-S-Y. Pansy. Cosmos have dainty star-shaped flowers in shades of pink and white. Cosmos are excellent at attracting butterflies to the garden. Let's spell cosmos. C-O-S-M-O-S. -O -O cosmos. Petunias have trumpet-shaped flowers in various colors. Some petunias have a light fragrance, and they're great for attracting butterflies. Let's spell petunia. P-E-T-U-N-I-A. Petunia. Poppies are delicate flowers in shades of red, pink, and orange. Some poppies are used to make medicine, and others are known for their connection to remembrance. Let's spell poppy. P-O-P-P-Y. Poppy. Primroses have pretty, fragrant flowers that come in different colors. Primroses bloom early in the year, bringing color to gardens after winter. Let's spell primrose. P-R-I-M-R-O-S-E. Primrose. A rose is a pretty flower with soft petals in colors like red and pink. Roses are often given as a symbol of love or friendship. Let's spell rose together. R-O-S-E, rose. Sunflowers are tall flowers with a big yellow crown. Did you know sunflowers follow the sun's movement during the day? Let's spell sunflower. S-U-N-F-L-O-W-E-R, sunflower. Tulips are colorful flowers that wear dresses in red, pink, and purple. Some tulips have special patterns on their petals. Let's spell tulip. T-U-L-I-P. Tulip. 
Our last flower is sweet peas. Sweet peas have fragrant, butterfly-shaped flowers in pastel colors. Sweet peas are often grown for their charming fragrance and delicate appearance. Let's spell sweet pea. S-W-E-E-T-P-E-A. Sweet pea.